Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix The Sims 4 Unable to Start Error. Uh, this tutorial will be quick and simple, just make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video if you will find this guide useful. So if you have something similar to this, Unable to Start Error, uh, first things first, you want to go ahead and open up your task manager. You can go ahead and right click on your windows um, here and then open up task manager. After that, you want to go ahead and uh, close EA application. So you want to select it and click end task. And now it was closed. Uh, after that, you want to go ahead and again, reopen the EA application. And after that, if you click on Sims 4 play and it's still unable to start, what I suggest you to do is go ahead and reinstall the EA uh, the latest version of EA. So to reinstall it, you're going to find it here on your settings. So open up your settings. You're going to find uninstalled apps right there. You can search for it and uninstall your EA application just like so. And then install it again, the latest version. Now, if the problem still persists, then you want to go to your documents, documents folder, find electronic arts, then Sims 4 folder, and you want to find mods folder right there. You should have a lot of mods here. So if you're going to find this mods folder, you want to rename it to old, just like so. And after you've done that, you want to open up again, EA application, and then go ahead here on Sims 4, click manage and then repair and it will repair any of the files and you want to again open up your folder and new mods folder will appear here uh, after that now if you still have a problem again go to your documents and electronic arts and you have your sims 4 folder so you want to go ahead and copy and paste all of the folder and its um, files uh, somewhere, put them somewhere else and uh, delete the old ones. So for example, you can go ahead and copy it and add it somewhere else. So for example, I saved it on my desktop and now you want to go ahead and delete the old ones. Now you go to EA app, click play again, and it will launch the game and the new files should appear there. Now, as you can see, the new files have appeared here. Once you have launched your um, your Sims and the mods folder also is a new one. So that's pretty much it. That should fix your problem. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.